I have some friends who are applied mathematicians around the world. And a side project they've been working on for about 15 years is trying to analyze mathematically and mechanically a fly rod. And they all agree it's the most complex thing they've ever tried to pick apart. And um, I love being part of that because um, uh, here's people who, who can analyze almost anything who are blown away by fly rods and, uh, and not just their beauty but by their mechanical and dynamic properties. Harry Wilson, the founder, more than anything was focused on innovation. He saw this great opportunity to build long light line rods. He stated he was going to design a nine foot four line rod and the fly fishing community basically said, you're crazy, that's going to be the worst fly rod ever. And that's what launched Scott. That tradition really just kept going. Scott being made here in America is something that I really think is important. You know, that's, that's kind of a vanishing thing. I don't know of any other company that has hand built every rod they've sold for 40 years. Well, sometimes you get rods back on repair and you, you get a glimpse into who had that rod. We even had a gentleman not too long ago send in a letter thanking us for his rod that he's had for 26 years. This guy has literally fished this rod almost to death. He didn't send it in to get repaired because once that rod broke, he retired that rod. Even though they don't come walking in the front door, you know that when you're building a rod, you're creating somebody's best fishing partner. It's weird because we sig so many rods in a week and every rod is individual. Each rod is different, it has its own personality, and I don't know, it never seems the same to me, never. I take a lot of pride in that because it's my favorite thing to do and I, I just love it. My girlfriends call me a schman, yes, because I look like a female, but I act like a boy because all I talk about is fishing and building fly rods, so yeah, I'm a schman. <laughs> and I'm proud of it. <laughs> I think that's what keeps us excited, is always looking for a better way to build our rods, always seeking out what's on the cutting edge of material science. They're not just made to sell, they're made to fish. To be able to know that the product is something people just don't use in their everyday life, but it's something they use in what really is their passion, and to know that you're part of that passion, that is, I have that passion. <laughs> Most people here have that passion. We're all fishermen in one way or another. So we understand that and have that connection with the people we build rods for. And that's a, that's a really cool thing.